Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and uh, I think we have a new circuit here let us see the circuit here it's an LED a resistor and a diode here we have the LED a resistor and that's it let us see the circuit the circuit of this one is this LED circuit we have 12 volt supply a switch resistor and an LED this is the circuit diagram and uh, this is our previous circuit and we calculated all the values here and the layout here and the parts are using one kilo ohms and uh, that is the parts here in here this is our new circuit let us see what is the circuit here this is diode circuit that is the circuit of this one that is the circuit we have here a 12 volt supply a switch and a diode 1 and 4001 a resistor and an LED light emitting diode this one is a regular diode 1 and 4001 this is light emitting diode so we got two diodes here and the circuit is diode circuit that is the circuit and the given here is uh, voltage at the diode 2 is 2 volts that is the voltage required to turn on the LED and it is turning on it means that the voltage drop across the LED is 2 volts and we got here voltage T1 is equal to 0 0.7 volts what is this? that is the voltage required to turn on this diode oh this 1 and 4001 that is the 0.7 volts voltage needed to turn on or to conduct this LED it seems there are two types of voltage here this 2.0 volt is the voltage for the LED needed to turn on that is the voltage drop across here LED and this one is the voltage needed to turn on the LED this type of diode I mean diode this type of diode that is the required voltage to turn on this type of diode 1N4001 and this one we have current D2 the current of the diode here LED needed to turn on the LED is 20 milliampere or 0 0.02 ampere so the current here is 0 0.02 ampere it means current in series are all equal while here we have the current at the D1 but we have here 1 ampere maximum it means that is the maximum amount of current 1 ampere maximum amount of current that this uh, diode can handle so much lower than that it can handle uh, 0 0.02 ampere or 0 0.2 0 0.1 as long as as long as uh, it is uh, not more than one ampere that is the current rating of this type of diode in here that is the forward current of the diode 
needed to turn on the LED ID2. So we're using the current ID2 here. Since uh, we're using it, it means that this type of diode can handle 0 0.02 ampere because the maximum current that it can handle is 1 ampere and this 0 0.02 is much lower than 1 ampere that is the given here so that is the polarity anode cathode this is a regular diode and this one is light emitting diode anode cathode Uh, let us find RD, the resistor needed to protect the LED here, also here. So that is the resistor needed to protect the LED from burning here. Let us find the RD here by using Kirchhoff's voltage law at RD. And... Uh, we have voltage supply minus voltage drop at the D1, voltage drop at the RD, voltage drop at the D2. Is equal to zero. The sum of all voltages in a closed loop is equal to zero according to Kirchhoff's. So substitution, 12 volts, voltage supply at the diode 1, diode 2, given in the data and we got now 9.3 volts voltage drop across RD using Ohm's law voltage is equal to current times resistance resistance is V over I and we got 9.3 divided by 0 0.02 ampere I'm using the current here 0 0.02 that is the amount of current needed to turn on this LED and since the current rating of this diode is 1 ampere maximum so it can handle this 0 0.02 ampere so the current flowing in the circuit is 0 0.02 since they are all in series and we got 465 ohms 9.3 divided by 0 0.02 for 65 and I use 1 kilo ohm available resistor it's okay to use 1 kilo ohms or 500 ohms but this one it's good 1 kilo ohms that's my available resistor and we have now here the symbol for uh, the diode anode plus cathode K and uh, the marker here is cathode negative just remember a is refers to arrow and that is the arrow here a arrow cathode that uh, line here so that is the symbol used in a regular diode in led there is uh, two arrow here denoting that it's a light emitting diode so we have here now the actual layout this is the regular diode and uh, one besides it is the resistor and the, the L light, em light emitting diode and the power supply that is the layout and we have the parts here voltage supply 1 and 4001 times 1 1 kilo ohm LED red 10 millimeter and perk board so we have a new circuit here a diode circuit this diode is used for switching when you reverse the connection it will not conduct or it will turn off because this is the right polarity of the diode in a circuit anode cathode just like here anode cathode did you see this uh, sign here actually the resistor has no polarity but when you connect it in a circuit it becomes positive here and negative here since the current flows here 
others uh, said that uh, where do current flows in the circuit or oh, oh, how it should be from positive terminal of the battery and flowing back to the negative to the ground so if you use uh, some form of technique I call this sign technique you got negative BS plus uh, B voltage drop at the RD at the D1 plus voltage drop at here if you're going to follow the sign here negative plus 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 but in here I'm using the regular formula BS voltage of supply minus B1 RD D2 is equal to zero it's the same minus BS plus 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 or BS minus 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 that is how the current flows in a circuit from positive terminal to the negative I'm talking about the current flows, not the electron flow. That's different. And now we have these two circuits. A LED circuit and a diode circuit. And this diode is used for switching application. When you connect the diode in this, the direction of the current flows is in this direction. Just like a switch and that is our new circuit this is 1N4001 this is light emitting diode two diodes in series and the circuit is working and we got the two circuits okay thank you for watching my video and bye bye